in the UK is saying that she has a really difficult time finding a new job because of her face tattoos. In fact, Kay Bennett got cute stars on the side of her face and apparently people are unwilling to hire her because they think the tattoos look unprofessional. In the article, quote, one of the most common debates I find myself having with people is over my career. People argue that no one is ever going to hire me or take me seriously with a tattoo on my arm and as a recent graduate, I get quite defensive over this topic. I firmly believe that a piece of art on one's body should not in any way stop someone from getting a career they have worked for and thoroughly deserve. When you're being interviewed, it's just natural for someone to look at a tattoo or look at your appearance and judge. And so, with, especially with the levels of unemployment right now where there's so many qualified people applying for the same jobs, do you really want to be in a position where you might offend somebody? In 2012, it was estimated that one and a half million British people get a tattoo every year. One in five adults in the UK have tattoos and one out of three 14 to 24 year olds have tattoos. But do tattoos affect your chance of getting a job? We chat to sales business owner and other employees about their opinions on having visible tattoos in the workplace. Appearance is not as important as obviously as external people. So if we start with external salespeople, um, they are a reflection of the company so when somebody meets them for the first time the first impression is very important with salespeople uh, and in my in the industry I'm in which is electronics a lot of the engineers you know can be pretty conservative um, so you know you, you need somebody that's presentable that can mix with uh, people from engineers all the way up to managing directors of big corporations so you, um, you know, so yes, important on appearance for external salespeople. Um, you know, they don't have to be fashionable, or they just have to be smart in their appearance and um, good to give, give a good impression of themselves and the company when you meet them. I work in a pharmacy, we're not supposed to have tattoos, but quite a few team members do have small tattoos, just like words and stuff that you can see them. I think it depends on the manager, manager discretion. I would probably recommend anybody that worked for me that wanted to do it, I'd say try and make it so it's not visible. Um, but if you're talking about body art that's visible, uh, you know, I remember meeting somebody once that had love and hate tattooed on his uh, knuckles and uh, the impression that gave me was, that, was, you know, was did I trust him or, you know, what would motivate somebody to do that? I feel that especially older employers have a, a bias against people who have tattoos. They may assume things about what they're like. Such as? I'm not sure why, but that they wouldn't be a good worker. That they wouldn't, what's the phrase? That they wouldn't cope well with authority. Some people may be, you know, upset by something that's quite you know in your face and uh, I need to ensure that when I send sales people in they're representing the company and look professional and smart. Last year Charlotte Tumulty, a trainee teacher, was sent home on her first day of work at a Catholic primary school when staff objected to her tattoos. If somebody came in with one that I thought wasn't appropriate then they would have to uh, have a have a very successful interview to make me consider taking them on. I like it when it's well done, but I wouldn't have it done to myself. I mean, obviously, at the first case, you wouldn't tell somebody you you, you wouldn't tell somebody if uh, you went and hired them because of their tattoos. You just say, "Sorry, you've been unsuccessful in hiring somebody else." In July 2014, Jo Perkins, a consultant in Milton Keynes, had her contract terminated because of a four centimetre image of a butterfly on her foot, contravened the non-visible inking policy of the firm for which she worked. The company said she had failed to cover it up. A 39-year-old mother of three from Yorkshire with the mantra, everything happens for a reason, on her forearm, 
was dismissed as a waitress in 2013 following complaints from customers. Was it fair for them to lose their jobs over ink? I got my first tattoo on a break at college on the day I turned 18 as an impulse just because I could do it. Um, I later went and got a half sleeve done. I've never faced discrimination for having tattoos during job interviews or trials or anything in the workplace. Um, often in work, I roll up my sleeves if I'm too warm, my tattoos are unsure, it's never been an issue. I have no issue with it, but I think it should be done, you know, maybe done discreetly. Um, or very small, I like, you know, I've seen people with very small ones on their wrists or names, you know. In 2010, the Equality Act was passed which stated that UK workers have no protection under legalisation for having tattoos. This means that your employer can use your tattoos as grounds for dismissal. I personally believe there should be no discrimination towards tattoos. Obviously there's a line whether something's explicit or obscene and it shouldn't be seen within public around certain people or in general. I'm not sure legislation will uh, change anything. I mean, quite honestly, I'm not sure in, in, in industries now with HR that you could actually fire somebody for having a tattoo. So I think they're already protected, quite honestly, by and a quiet word with somebody saying, hey, you know, could you wear sleeves that cover up a, if, you, if you don't work, for instance, with a teacher where you think it's a bad example to the children then just ask them to, to cover up. I think it's something that shouldn't be discriminated against, but if you were to put a law like that into place, then would you not have to let everyone who has body art have an equal chance? What if you had offensive body art or body art on the face? People use body art and tattoos, piercings, often as a way to express themselves, and people should not be discriminated for wanting to express themselves.